Welcome to the Echo Chamber. I'm your host, Dr. Mack. In today's news, Jesus of Nazareth has reportedly risen from the dead, overturning the results of the free and fair election which called for his death. Many are labeling this an act of election interference. Here with us, we have a high priest of the temple and a Roman centurion. Uh, yes. You see, the crowd has clearly chosen to free Barabbas in what was the most safe and free election in history. The people have spoken, and this whole ordeal is a threat to democracy. That's absolutely right. This uh, challenges our right to have mostly peaceful crucifixions. We need to call this what it is. A violent insurrection. Violent? Oh, yes. I had my ear cut off in Gethsemane by one of these resurrectionists. Why do you still have it, then? That's not important. What is important is that this unsanctioned resurrection was in defiance of the experts. I'm a high priest, okay? If anyone knows who the Messiah is, it's us. People need to trust the Messiahs. Powerful words. Joining us now is Pontius Pilate, who was anti-crucifixion, but respected democracy. Pontius, why aren't more people on your side of the aisle respecting free and fair election outcomes? Come on, man. This guy is really out of line with his resurrection. I mean, I'm personally against crucifixion, but politically, I respect the right of the crowd to choose, man. Wise words. Uh, you know what else? Uh, for someone who claims to preach a tolerance and understanding, defying voters by resurrecting from the dead seems a little hypocritical, no? Seriously, this Christ guy sure doesn't seem to act very Christ-like. He's really on the wrong side of history, man. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. After the break, experts are saying barbarian phobia could spell the end of Roman civilization. Become a member at freedomtunes.com for exclusive cartoons.